So I'm going to uh, join these ladies on the track. Now, you heard in the video that this system works in concert, in close concert with BBT. So let's talk about BBT first. What is it? Variable valve timing. We have variable valve timing with intelligence. Okay? BBT controls the intake valves. Okay? How fast they go. Picture me, my chest, you being what we need, as an engine. And imagine you're running, okay? The valves, BBT is your heart. Now, on older <coughs> engines, if you were walking at the same speed consistently, your heart would beat right along with you. But the problem was is that if I started sprinting or running quickly, so I'm going to do that now, what's happening to my heart? Has it changed speed? Yeah. No, it hasn't. It's going at the same rate. That's a problem. I can't sprint very fast if my heart isn't keeping up with what my feet are doing. <coughs> so variable valve timing came along, and if I were, it allowed me to match my heart to match what my feet were doing. So if I'm walking slow, it will beat slow. But the minute I start running, it will keep up with me and beat faster, no matter what I'm doing. That's great. So now my heart's keeping up, but I got another problem. What are the three things that an engine needs to function? I don't know, I need air. Air is one. Fuel. Fuel, another. Spark. And spark. Air, fuel, and spark. Okay? Now, when you put gas into a car, that fuel has all the energy it's going to have. It's inherent in it. You can't give gas any more energy than what's in that drop already. The kicker is air. The more air you can get in the system, the better it is for performance. So, let's head back to the track. These ladies, I'm losing these ladies. They're starting to get away from me. Imagine if I'm on the racetrack, jogging track, and all that I can breathe through is this drop. Tough. If I stay at this pace, I could probably do it. Well, that's the attempt getting bored watching me here. He says, hey, Matt, entertain me and run faster. How long do you think I can keep this up? I'm going to pass out. I'm not, going to get, I'm not getting enough air in the system because there's a restriction here. I'm using a bendy straw for a reason. This is a problem. What Valvmatic does is takes the straw and throws it away. Now, now I can go, and I can go longer, and I can conceivably go faster because my heart is keeping up, but also my lungs are keeping up, and I'm getting more air into the combustion chamber. More volume of air. That's Valvmatic. It allows you to get more air into the system. And how it does it is, it takes what is a small opening and almost virtually creates a bigger one by virtue of plunging the valves deeper into the cylinder. So what it's doing is, if I can plunge this deeper, more volume of air can come rushing into the cylinder head. So BBT would take care of the speed at which the valves open, fast or slow, but on an older engines before valvematic, the depth at which those valves opened, no matter how fast they were going, was always the same. Now I can speed it up, slow it down, but I can also do this. Make it deeper, getting more air into the system, more volume. Okay? That's how it works. So that is the simplest analogy that I can think of, a jogging analogy, with the straw. Okay? So does that work for everybody? To simplify, thank you, Rich. First person I clap. Go ahead, you can clap as well. <laughs> Things I do. No? Does that simplify any questions on that? That's about as easy as I can put it. For most of your customers, you're going to leave it at what's in it for me? Lower emissions, more power. Think of a campfire. When you blow on a campfire, what happens to it? You're putting air in it, you get a bigger flame. That's why you get more power because more air is coming into the system. 
That's why the Valmatic car gets 140, the other one doesn't. Okay? Is there a different uh, air reduction than that? Like, is there different filters in that? No different filters, but the key is, is that you're getting air past the, th the butterfly valve tent, and the air is sitting there because more it's, it can be held open, and the valve is doing its work. So when you put the hammer down, the air is sitting right on top of the valve, just waiting, in it goes, and there's more of it. So that's improving the combustion process. Cleaner burn, hotter burn, less emissions, more power. That's the key. Regular fuel. Regular fuel. Thanks, Jeff.